What's going on guys? It's your boy TMI. I am the Master Investor. Thank you guys very much for tuning in right now. No matter what time it is, no matter where you guys are. Thank you guys very much for being here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I do want to go over two quick stories here. One, insider trading gone wrong. Okay, if you insider trade, if you have an advantage to this market, if you are privy to information that is not made publicly available and you still lose, I'm going to call you the fuck out. The second thing I do want to speak about guys is apparently retail investors have sold out the market. I got something I want to add to that. I do want to go over a story that's been out there, of course, addressing the mainstream media headlines that I think are very important to call out when they're in inaccurate or not quite detailed enough all right now of course my name is tmi guys if you have not yet smash the like button engage the video and i have a question for you guys before we get started here okay do me a favor if you guys would not mind of course smash the like button engage the video but recommend me a book to read for this year i'm gonna leave today i'm gonna leave after this video after i'm done editing this video of course go to the bookstore pick up a few books so those will be the books so i kind of kick off for the first couple of months i don't i don't read a book a week i'm not i'm not gonna act like i do but for the first few months i have a couple of books done let me know what books i should read in the back half of the year or for the next maybe q2 i would appreciate that anyways getting back to the point guys so let's kick things off here. Take a look at this. Look at this Bond villain looking character. This is Nancy Pelosi's husband, right? Nancy Pelosi's husband lost over $500,000 selling Tesla stock in December as investors fret about Elon Musk tweets. Elon, 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 always up to something. But the funny thing is, take a listen to this story that came out just a few months ago. Buzz, Nancy Pelosi's husband, Paul Pelosi, has bought over $2 million in Tesla stock this month alone. As lawmakers push to ban Congress and their spouses from stock trades, and the administration continues to push electric vehicles and a green agenda. I guess Elon Musk did not get the memo. He can't be tweeting anything crazy once they already have the information they need for the stock to go to the moon. If, if the stock's supposed to go up and they have the insider information of how things were going to go, then the only thing that can screw up that kind of insider trading is a tweet from the CEO himself. James Freeman, what do you make of this? Yeah, I'm not going to second guess Paul Pelosi's investment decisions. I think uh, he's made a lot that have turned out pretty well. And this one, when you look at how hostile this administration, this Congress are to oil and gas production, to gasoline-powered cars, uh, sounds like uh, maybe not a bad bet. I, I do think this is the kind of disclosure that voters should know about. No. No, that was a very bad bet. When they look at Nancy Pelosi and they look at her hostility to uh, and all the policies that uh, raise the price of gasoline, uh, not that uh, her San Francisco constituents are going to vote to uh, vote against her this fall, but uh, colleagues may not want to make her speaker again. Well, it's also worth noting how wealthy she's become while being a government bureaucrat. Yeah. Well, there's that. I. And just to be clear, guys, I am very aware of the fact that there are several different news sources with several different biases towards several different politicians on one side of the aisle or another. But let me know in chat. Put a quick W in chat, I guess, if you guys do agree with me. I don't care if you're left or you're right. If you are not doing what is best for the people as a whole, meaning you are just simply looking out for your individual well-being and insider trading, you should be called out. All right? Sorry. No, I was just going to say, the last time James and I were talking about Tesla, I made him giggle because we said there's more, more red flags than a communist parade going on with the fundamentals. And I would say there's... Whoa! I guess somebody was right. I guess somebody was correct. Take a look at that. There's even more red flags here. I mean, Congress, uh, congressmen and congresswomen... <laughs> and, okay, I'll take it. But look, there's no way that they should be allowed to trade stocks, right? I think you do a twofold thing here. Ban it outright and watch how fast people only stay in office for a couple terms because they won't want to no. give up the wealth the wealth multiplying effect of being in power and that happens when you can use the inside information that you get. We have strict laws against insider trading. We need it for congressmen and women as well. Top notch. Top notch. I mean, the rest of us own index funds or ETFs. You could still get invested, but not by individual companies that may be impacted by the legislation you are creating. Let's keep this going, guys. So listen to this, okay? Nancy Pelosi reported uh, her husband lost more than 500000 in December after selling Tesla shares. Paul Pelosi's trades were a facet of the coverage over a potential ban on lawmakers and their spouses. Pelosi lost $2.5 in the final weeks of 2022 in a potential move to lower his tax burden. Now, that is called tax loss harvesting. You see, people do these things sometimes to put themselves in a better 
taxable position in order to just simply pay less money to the government. Here's the second story I do want to speak to you guys about that I think is very important, a mainstream headline. Of course, guys, if you have not yet, smash the like button, engage the video. Let's keep this going. Retail investors have sold out, have sold all the stocks they bought during the pandemic boom. Now, this is coming from Business Insider, along with the last article, just for reference. And I, I don't necessarily love Business Insider. And the reason why I don't love it is because the platform is basically like a scam platform. They, they do a lot of hit pieces and they have it behind a paid wall. So they do the hit piece and the people have to see the hit piece behind a paid wall. And that's how they kind of make their, their business. It's very messy. Nonetheless, guys, take a look at this article. It's already out there. It came out January 12th at 3 p.m. I think there's some pretty interesting information pieces in this article that I do want to follow up and also add some clarity into why somebody would say that. Okay. Retail and I don't think retail have all sold their position in the bottom pandemic. Okay. Retail investors have sold all the stuff they bought during the COVID 19 trading boom, according to Goldman Sachs. Goldman said in a Thursday note that they had observed rapid retail selling across the stocks found a uh, fund in S&P 500 and NASDAQ 100. Selling over the past 11 months has completely reversed all net buying single stocks from 2019 to 2021, Goldman said. Now, retail trading boom is officially over according to Thursday note from Goldman Sachs. The stimulus fuel trading frenzy among individual investors took over the market in 2020 and 2021 with everything from meme stocks to cryptocurrency soaring in value accurate, but it appears a steep sell-off in speculative stocks that began in February 2021 and continued all the way through the end of 2022 has taken its toll on retail investors, combined with the soaring interest rates and elevation of inflation, or elevated inflation. Here's a quote, retail net selling activity has accelerated over the past six months in aggregate selling over the past 11 months has completely reversed all the net buying in single stocks from 2019 to 2021, Goldman said. The bank's analysts based their research on net buying activity of retail investors throughout its trading desk, which identifies trades that go through payment for order flow channels according to the note. Now, the interesting thing is this. It's very possible that retail started using less payment for order flow and started buying more direct to lit markets. That's one. The second thing is there's no way of telling if all retail investors sold. It could say the vast majority of retail investors sold or even more retail investors coming to the market, maybe even short selling. I think the, the strategy of selling might have shifted a little bit. There's a few different things I think could also add to these numbers. And I also don't think that this categorizes all of retail. A huge subsection, sure but not all. A similar story can be told about the crypto sector, which has erased more than $2 trillion in market value from its peak as a scandal after scandal dents the trust in space, which is true. FTX did a number, and before FTX, there was three other capitals and several other institutions that had huge, 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 horrible plays. According to a recent note from the Bank of America, crypto trading volumes have been plummeting at various exchanges like Coinbase as retail investors finally throw in the towel. So it's not just crypto itself, but several different industries that I guess retail was, you know, just beginning to buy into during the pandemic have just basically reverse at this point in time and i think you know when it comes down to everything being in a bull market in 2021 the biggest bull market we've ever seen and shifting to a bear market in 2022 you kind of understand how there could be a lot of buying in one part and a lot of selling in the other and i don't think this is strictly retail i think this is selling has been taking place across the board of course i also do want to add that i think retail investors are still here right the reason why you know at the beginning of this year i started seeing a lot more things about retail investors staying engaged in this market is because the closer we get to the bottom of this market of this bear market and i think we still have lower to go the more important i think the more integral it is for retail investors to stay here because you want to be here when we hit the bottom so you can ride that bad boy up retail investors getting in at the top and exiting at the bottom is the worst possible scenario here. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you haven't yet, of course, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel so you guys get more updates for videos just like this. And of course, for all you guys out there looking for more information on trading, guys, trading, callouts, watch lists, alerts, whatever you guys are looking for to be more successful in the market, take a look at the link in the description below for our Discord. We are in there every single day, you know, maneuvering through this market in a wonderful community, guys. Feel free to check us out. For everybody else, see you guys in the next video. Much love. Peace.